What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to cover the where days, where day, where month, where year and where time methods in Laravel's collection. All these methods that I've just mentioned allow you to filter your database query results based on a specific date or time. Now let's say that you only want to retrieve articles that were published in 2021 or all articles published on a specific day of the week. In these type of scenarios, you could use these methods. Let's first retrieve all articles that we have. And let's copy one value of the created underscore at column. Let's see where it is, right here. And let's paste it as a comment right below our query. Now let's start with the where date method. The where date method is useful when you want to filter your database query results based on a specific date. Let's replace the all method with the where date method and let's change the get method to it as well. It accepts two required arguments, where the first one is the name of the column that contains the date you want to filter it by, which is created underscore at, while the second argument is the actual date you want to filter on. So let's say 2023 04 13. Behind the scenes, this query will generate a SQL query that filters the results based on a date portion of a date-time column. So if the date portion matches, the row will be included in the result set. Let's see how the query looks behind the scenes. Well, let's perform the request, and this might be too small for you, so let me copy it and add it as a comment right here, where you will see that it performs a simple select statement, where it will select all fields from the article table, where well, it will extract the date part from the time using the date function, where it passes in the created underscore add column, where the date needs to be equal to the 13th of April. Quick note, you could also add other operators as a second argument, so we could basically say, well, one moment, it needs to be less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. But in our case, we're just going to get rid of it. Now let's delete the comment as well because the second method that I want to cover is the where day method. This method is perfect for when you want to filter your database query results based on a specific day of the month. It is powerful because it allows you to retrieve all articles published on a certain day, regardless of the year and month. Now let me repeat myself, regardless of the year and month. So let's perform our query. Let's say article, colon, colon, where day. Now let's change the get method. The where day method takes two arguments. The first argument is the name of the column that contains the date you want to filter by, which in our case will be created underscore at again, while the second argument is the specified day of the month you want to filter on. Not the day in a full string, but the integer number of the day of the month. So let's say 13. Now once we perform our request, you'll see that it obviously returns a full list of articles. So let's replace the get method with the count method, where you will see that it has retrieved 100 rows. And that's correct because we created 100 rows using our factory class all on the same date. Now behind the scenes, this command will generate a SQL query that filters the results based on the day portion of the date time column. Once we perform our request, you'll see that the biggest difference between both queries is that the second query uses the day function rather than the date function. The next method on the list is the where month method. It is powerful because it allows you to retrieve all articles published in a month, regardless of the year. And let me repeat myself one more time, is regardless of the year. So let's perform a query. Let's say, well, let me add a couple enters right here. Let's say article where month get. It accepts the same arguments, so the name of the column that contains the date time value you want to filter by, which is again created underscore at, and it accepts an integer value of the month you want to filter articles on. So let's say 11. Once we perform our request right now, you will see that we receive an empty collection, which is correct because all of our articles have been created in the month of April. So if we change our second argument to four and perform our request, you'll see that we have retrieved all the articles again. Now you probably wonder whenever you should use the where month method. This can be useful for a blog where you have a lot of deals in the month of November. So think about the Black Friday deals, Cyber Monday deals, and so on. And you want to retrieve all deals of the last years. The next method is the where year method, which is also very powerful because it allows you to retrieve all articles published in a certain year, regardless of the month and day. 
So let's say that you have a blog and you want to create a feature that shows all blog posts published in a certain year. This is where it can be very useful. So once again, let's define our article model and use the where year method. Just like the other methods that we covered, it accepts two arguments. The first argument is the column that contains the date time value that you want to filter by, which is created underscore at, and an integer value that you want to filter articles on. So let's say 2023. And let's actually replace the get method with the count method. Once we perform our request, you'll see that we retrieved 100 rows. Finally, we have the where time method. And the where time method is useful when you want to filter your database query results based on a specific time. So let's say that you want to retrieve all articles that were published between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. So let's make use of our article model, use the where time method, now let's say count. It accepts once again two arguments, where the first one is the column, so created underscore at, while the second argument is the specific time you want to filter on, which should be a format of HH of hours, colon, MM for the month, colon, double S for the seconds in a string. So let's say 9 a.m. And what we need to do right here is actually add a operator in between. So let's say it needs to be greater than or equal to. And then we're going to chain one more method to it, which is the where time method again, where the created underscore at needs to be less than or equal to, let's say 1700. And I forgot a comma right here. Once we perform our request, you'll see that we have retrieved zero articles. Now, quick summary, we covered the where date, where day, where month, where year, and where time methods in Laravel. These methods allow you to filter your database query results based on a specific date or time. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover the filter method in Laravel. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.